We will now have a look at how we measure distances on the chart. As previously, I showed you that one latitude of minute is the same as one nautical mile. So if we start here from our position in the pilot area and we measure the distance to this lighthouse, I can walk the divider. So that's one, two, three, and slightly less than four. So I measure how decimal. So I measure 3.9 nautical miles. If I want to be even more accurate, I'll stretch the divider the whole distance. And this is how I recommend that you do it. And then we put it out here and then we count. So we always put it down. It doesn't matter whether you put it here or here or here, but we always start at the whole latitude of minute makes it easier to count. So that's one, two, three point nine nautical miles. So let's say we measure from the pilot area to this green starboard lateral mark. So I'll set the divider, bring this out, let's start here. Then I count. So this is one, two point six nautical miles. And finally, let's measure the distance from the starboard lateral mark to the lighthouse. So I'll stretch the divider across. One, two, three, four point six nautical miles. Now, why is distances important? Well, distances tells us how far we are from A to B. And depending on our speed, we can know how long time it takes to travel from A to B. And it also means that, let's say, we've traveled halfway across to Hollenderborn Lighthouse, then we have come halfway across. If we draw a straight line across these two, then we should be in the middle of that. That gives us an information of our position at that point in time. Now, some of you may say, well, why do we just use lateral? minutes and not longitudinal minutes. Well, this is one lateral minute or one nautical mile. If I bring my divider down, you can see that we actually have two longitudinal minutes in one lateral minute. Now, why is this? This happens because the longitudes are, are meridians, so half circles that goes from one pole, pole to the next pole. That means that they start and they finish at each pole. And they're actually, since we use these as degrees, they're actually 360 of these. 180 towards east and 180 towards west of Greenwich. Now at the equator, one longitude, one latitudinal minute is the same distance as one longitudinal minute. But the further north we go, the lesser they become. So now I will now turn the chart around and I will show you. Now we are in the north of Norway at, this is, um, 68 degrees north, 40 minutes, or 35 minutes here. 
and I can now measure, I can show you that one latitude of minute is the same. It, it is the same. It doesn't change. Um, and, and it has nothing to do with how far north or south you are. But we see that we have almost three longitudinal minutes in one latitude of minute this far north. And that just goes, show, goes to show that these becomes closer and closer and closer together until they meet at the poles.